So next, if you have more than two sets of data plotted on the same axis, you can also compare these two data sets by looking at the average value. So in a box plot, you cannot see the value of mean, you cannot see the value of mode, but you can see the value of your median. So this um, middle line here is the median. So from here, we can see that, well, um, read B is slightly lower than breed A, but it is a very small difference. So we can say that, well, breed A and breed B, on average, breed A and breed B actually produces the same amount of milk in a month. Correct? Because the median line is quite close to each other, but if you do want to compare them exactly, if you do want to go precise, then you can say that, yep, breed B produce less milk than breed A in a month. On average, breed B produces less milk than breed A in a month. So this is one of the advantage of using box plot to represent your data. Because when you choose to draw a box plot, you can plot more than one data set on the same axis. And by doing so, you are able to compare these different sets in terms of their average. So you can see which set has a higher value. And from there, you can make important conclusions. Like for example, here, we can say that, okay, maybe breed A is better than breed B because they produce slightly more milk compared to breed B. Right, so, hmm, okay, what else can we talk about using this median value, okay? So we can use the median value in Boxplot to compare between more than two sets. And we can also use the median value to talk about our data distributions, okay? So now, median, well, I'm sure that you all know that median is also quartile two, okay? So in when we're doing box plot, we, we are actually partitioning our data into four partitions. Okay, kita bahagi data kita tu kepada empat bahagian, four equally sized partitions. So, this is what we're doing actually. Okay, so here is our quartile one, quartile two, quartile three. So, this is the maximum and this is the minimum. We have already partitioned our data from the minimum to maximum value into four equally sized partitions. So there are 25% of our data here, 25% here, 25% here, and another 25% here. Okay, so let me ask you something. From minimum until quartile two, how many percent of the data is in between minimum and quartile two? There are 50%, am I right? And even from quartile 2 until maximum, how many percent of data is included here? Also 50%. So median is the middle value in your data set. All right. Um, all data which is smaller than your median, you have 50% data smaller than your median. And you also have 50% of the data which has higher value than your median. Am I right? Okay, does that seem logical to you? Okay, so what does that mean? So let's take a look at the median value for breed B. So median value for breed B is 75. So let me write down 75 here. Okay, so by looking at this, so this is 75 liter. Okay, what can we understand? Well, you have learned this in the previous subtopic, chapter 1.3.3. Do you remember measures of position? Yep, this is it. We are doing measures, we are using measures of position to explain about our data. Okay, so let's go through this again. So we are talking about breed B here, and the median or the quartile two is 75 liter. So this means that there are 50% of data in breed B, or there are 50% 50 uh 50 of cow in breed B produces milk less than 75 liter, correct? And you can also say that 50% uh, of cows in breed B produces more than 75 liter. Is that clear? And same goes to breed A, you can also comment about the same thing.
okay i'll give you a minute to um, try and digest that information because the median is positioned right in the middle of the data so like 50 percent of the data is less than your median value and 50 percent of the of your data uh, has value which is greater than your median value okay even though okay um i'm sure that some of you would wonder like why is it that in the box plot the mi okay minimum until quarter one here i mean quarter two i'm sorry from minimum to median on grid b seems like it is longer compared to maximum to median but i but but i but i say that um this is 50 percent and this is 50 percent but why don't they have the same length well please take note that the length of your box plot does not represent the percentage of your data okay the line of your box plot does not represent the percentage of your data even though this side seems longer than this side both sides actually contain the same percentage of data okay all right okay then well, so that is number two. You can use box plot to talk about the average of your data. 